first things first, I hate, I just want to be on the record, I hate and despise frozen ivy. I only use fresh, it tastes better, I think it's healthier. This stuff has artificial flavoring, it's waterlogged. Um, they gas it to give it this color, it stays this color forever. So you cannot tell if the fish is old or new or spoiled, it just keeps its color and it, I think it's disgusting. However, not everyone has access to fresh fish like we do here in Hawaii. So I'm going to show you how you can take this, how you can manage it, and then how you can make it taste fresh. So there's three secrets to it, and we're going to go over that today. The first secret is you got to take this fish and you got to try it. Okay, and that's what we're going to do right here. So we just open it up, and then we're shrinking it in a colander in the sink. And then we're going to take out all this water. Okay, so you just strain it. And then what you're going to do is we're going to... We're going to use a lot of paper towels. And we're going to dry this fish out. So what I do... Is I just squeeze it out. And it's okay to get really rough with this fish. Because we're actually going to smash the fish up. And we're gonna dry it. So, a lot of times when you look at a piece of ahi, you cannot really tell if it's fresh or frozen. But when you touch it, and then when you taste it, you can definitely like this has water coming out of it. It's 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 gross. And so it doesn't have a springy. Usually, fresh fish when you touch it, it springs back. But this is just, it just, yeah, it's, it's disgusting. Like I said, some people don't have access to fresh fish, so we're going to show them how to use this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna smash this out here. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna chop it. Because right away, when you bite into a piece of frozen ahi, you can tell it's frozen because it just doesn't have the same feel as fresh ahi. So by smashing it and chopping it, we're gonna kind of disguise that this is frozen ahi. In fact, you might not even be able to tell. So, we've got our uh, smashed diced ahi, frozen, we've got green onion, we've got chili oil, and then we've got uh, chili powder. So these two things can be interchangeable. You can use sesame seed oil, you can use sriracha, you can use any type of uh, spice. Then here we have uh, this togarashi. They sell this in the Asian market, you can pretty much get whatever you want. Okay, so I just bought these two because they're on sale. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do, this ahi, the biggest thing that it's lacking right now is fat. That's why the flavor is weird, that's why it's watered down. So you have to add fat. So mayonnaise is gonna be our fat. You can also use lard, okay? So we put in uh, about a tablespoon of mayonnaise there. And then we get this mixed up. You ever heard of toro? So toro is the belly part of the fish and it's usually really fatty. This is kind of similar to what a toro would be, okay? So we got our fat. We add more fat with the spice oil. This. this is the uh, togarashi. This is to help kick up the heat. Then we give this a mix. Okay. The spicy ahi then. We're gonna add in our green onion. This is flying fish eggs. So you can either use tobiko, which I like because it's crunchier and it's bigger, or you can use masago, which is the crab eggs. It's smaller and it's a little bit cheaper. And you just kind of, because of green onions, you don't want to bruise them, just kind of slowly give them a toss. Okay, ready. The last thing we add after the tobacco and the green onion is salt. This is Hawaiian salt, coarse salt. Um, I guess you can use kosher salt or any type of sea salt that you get. Um, regular salt, you know, not iodized salt, would not work with this dish. You cannot just use regular um, table salt. Okay, it's gotta be coarse salt, okay? The thing about spicy ahi, and salt is that the ahi will absorb the salt and then over time, one hour, two hours, it gets bland. If you put this in the fridge and you eat it the next day, you're gonna have to taste it and re-salt because the salt just disappears, okay? So it's always best to make ahi poke or spicy ahi fresh. And there you have it. Spicy ahi from frozen ahi cubes.